Hi, I'm Derek Klobuchar with SAP News Services, and I'm here in Berlin for SAP TechEd and Decode 2014 and the ultimate developer competition, Demo Jam. Seven teams from around the world competed in the 10th annual event, in which SAP customers, partners, and employees demonstrated new technologies and applications with a time limit of six minutes. A live SAP TechEd and Decode audience used applause alone to choose the winner. Off you go. Good evening. Police forces have challenges for the last centuries, basically optimizing their resources. Tomer Steinberg started off the evening with his app to help law enforcement agencies predict where and when crime is most likely to occur. That way police can focus patrols on the most troublesome sectors to better respond to and prevent crime. Steinberg analyzed publicly available crime data from the city of Chicago, creating his predictive algorithm and using a business objects dashboard and Esri integration. Damn, like train station. Team Augmented Lost and Found brought the train stations lost and found into the digital age with an app that lets passengers report a lost item the moment they realize it's missing. Train conductors can simply catalog found items by taking a photo, filling out a few fields on the app, and then getting on with their duties. It's easy for customers to use, and the railway company can efficiently get lost items back to their rightful owners. It's hurricanes that caused large insurance claims and large damages in the past year. The app from team Get a Grip on Geodata offers greater insight into damages caused by natural disasters. The app uses storm data to graph insurance claims along the paths of history's most infamous hurricanes. This lets users drill down from nation to county to individual house. It can calculate current risk exposures, as well as projected losses from future storms. Throw away that cigarette box. Throw away that pen. Don't just be a plumber. Be a sophisticated one. Team Business in Your Pocket found a way to put the type of cloud technology that benefits large corporations into the hands of small enterprises. In this example, a plumber can answer a call on a smartphone, enter new customer data via voice commands, and send automated quotes and appointment options to the customer, almost instantaneously. Three, two, one, go! But none of these apps were a match for the SAP HANA powered clapometer, which officials calibrated just before Demo Jam got underway. Three, two, one, go! Third place went to Team Keramit a play on Kermit the Frog because the team used Muppets throughout its demonstration. The app incentivizes voluntary caregiving by creating a virtual marketplace where people can buy or trade care for those who need it, such as the elderly and the infirm. Volunteering service to others, as was done for the Muppets Statler and Waldorf, earns care points which users can spend on service for someone else, like a relative who lives far away. And that relative can even choose who provides the care. When we are at the age of Waldorf and Stadler, we sure hope that there are enough new heroes to, to take care of you and us. I'm ready, three, two, one. Second place went to three-time Demo Jam Las Vegas winners Nick Dudson and Will Powell. These guys built their own 3D printer in order to then build their own brainwave sensor and their own virtual reality headset. And that's not even their app. The app itself offers a realistic feel for shoppers test driving a product, which they can customize within the system. The app also monitors brain waves to track emotional responses, helping salespeople gauge a shopper's interest in a specific product. All, of course, in real time. And that's really interesting from a sales point of view, because as a salesman, I can see what he's enjoying within the sales process. So if he becomes disengaged at a particular time, I can actually move on. So do you want to take it for a test drive, Will? Yeah. Three, two, one, go there! The big winners were five Hasso Plotner Institute students, who also won InnoJam earlier in the week. Team Remote Farm presented its real-life Farmville-style app, which lets users direct and observe the planting, cultivation and harvesting of crops on an off-site field. A field that could be just outside their city or on the other side of the planet. And right there you can see a lot of our sensors and this is one aspect that you get data in real time from the planet. And with that, the five members of Team Remote Farm won Demo Jam 2014.
That's it for now for Demo Jam. For SAP News Services, I'm Derek Klobuchar.